crochet friends. I'm here today. This is Jen from Teal and Finch and we are making some sweet little baby bonnets today. So I am making the newborn size. On my blog will be the pattern for newborn, baby, toddler, and child. So you can make this from a preemie um, all the way up to children um, would fit any of those for this pattern. So um, just to give you a little heads up, today I'm making the newborn and we are going to start in a circle in the back and then we'll be working back and forth in rows with this decorative stitch. We'll have some little ties and um, I will give you tips on how to make it smaller if you want to make it for a preemie or even a doll. And for the larger sizes, go to my blog and I'll put the link below. So we'll get started with the materials and I hope you enjoy. So today we'll be making the Hadley bonnet, and what you will need is um, a ruler. I am using an H crochet hook. It's a five millimeter. I'm using my Furls crochet hook. Um, you'll need whatever size hook to obtain the gauge, and I will talk about that later. And a yarn needle. And this is the yarn that I'm using. It's um, Lion Brand Collection Superwash Merino. And um, I mainly chose this because I really liked the colors. And I just, I have a few here that you can see. I thought they made great colors for baby bonnets and toddler and child bonnets. And it is a number three light DK. And if you're making the newborn size, you could probably make three or four just with one skein. So let's get started. So I will be making the newborn size today, and all four sizes, newborn, baby, toddler, child, they all start the same way. And I will let you know when I'm branching off into um, just the newborn part. But the, the back side of the bonnet is the same for all the sizes. So what you're going to do is start with a magic loop. So loop your yarn, little loop there. Wrap this around twice. So you have this little loop and it's been wrapped around twice. Then you can take your hook and pull this up. Okay, and now we can do our chain two. Okay, half double crochet nine. There's one, One more. Okay, so then let's see two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, so we have nine half double crochets and we're able to pull this to make a nice little circle there. So if that magic loop gave you trouble, um, you could search for, um, there's lots of tutorials on YouTube for um, magic loop. Um, that's just the way I do it. I know there are other ways to do it, so don't give up <laughs> if that was tricky. It does take a lot of practice. Um, so let's see, two, four, six, I'm sorry, two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, so what you want to keep track of is that you have nine half double crochets, and then you have that chain two. So we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of chain two. So if you're having trouble seeing it, just count your nine, like this is my ninth half double. So this must be the top of the slip stitch, or the top of the chain two. So we're gonna slip to join. Like that. 
okay? And that is probably the trickiest part of the whole bonnet. So don't give up, but this part is hard. Okay, so in round two, we will chain two, and then half double crochet in the same space, the same where we slip to join. So that will count as two stitches. So the chain two counts as your first half double there. So then we continue to do two half doubles in every stitch all the way around our circle. Okay, so I made it the whole way around and we have 20 stitches, including this chain two. And so slip to join at the top of the chain two to end off round two. Okay, so round three is the same idea. We chain two and that will count as our first stitch then we're going to increase in the next stitch. So two half doubles in this next stitch. Okay, then one half double. And then increase again. So the pattern for this round will just be um, one half double and then increase so two in the same okay so at the end of round um, three we should have 30 stitches and in the second round we should have had 20 and the first round had 10 so you'll know you're doing it right if you have multiples of 10 there and so we're going to join with a slip stitch to the top of this chain two. Okay, so round four, we will chain two, and the pattern will be um, two half doubles and then increase. So the first one counts as a half double, then we did one, now we're going to increase in the next stitch. Okay, so we did one, one, two, one, one, and then we'll do two. All right, and you'll just keep going in that pattern the whole way around, and at the end of this round, you'll have 40 stitches. Okay, so I've gone the whole way around with round four, and if you ended with an increase, you'll know you're on the right track, but make sure you count that you have 40 stitches. And then slip to join in the top of your chain two. Okay, so the cool thing about patterns like this is that this is your gauge swatch and it's the beginning of the pattern. So we'll go ahead and measure And I have um, three inches, just over three inches there. So um, I would call it three and a quarter. So you will know if yours is bigger, you could use a smaller hook, like maybe a 4.5. If yours is smaller than that, then use a larger hook, 5.5. Okay, so this is where the newborn size um, veers off and is different from the other sizes. So um, if you're making the other sizes, just follow the directions in the pattern. Um, this will begin the decorative sti stitch section. So um, all the sizes will do this. It's just the other sizes have a few more um, rounds in the circle.
first. Okay, so now we're going to work back and forth in rows. So we will chain one and turn. We're going to half double crochet in the next half double crochet. So you can kind of see um, if it's difficult to tell where it is, you can see that this is that half double crochet stitch. So we're going to go in here. So you can even sort of <laughs> see how this works. But, oh, fell. But you can see um, that's where you're going to stick your, your hook. Okay. So in case you missed it, um, it's right there. And then if we turn, because the half double crochets are a little tricky this way because they, um, they're off balanced, unlike single and double crochets, which are easier. Um, half doubles can be a little tricky to see where to insert your hook. Okay, so we half double in there. And then, oh, and then we slip stitch in the next stitch. And I'll show you that again, half double and then slip stitch. So that's going to be the pattern the whole way around. And you'll just keep doing that until you reach the end of the, the row. Okay, so after you've worked the whole way around, we should have 40 stitches and your last stitch will be a half double crochet. And this chain one here counts as a stitch. So just make sure you should have 40 and you ended with a half double. So we're going to chain one and turn. And now we slip stitch in that half double crochet. And then we half double into this next slip stitch. And you just keep doing that the whole way around. And again, we'll still have 40 stitches because you won't be increasing or decreasing. Okay, so when you get to the end of row two, your last stitch should be a slip stitch. And we're going to do row three and it will be exactly the same as row one. Chain one and turn and we start with the half double in that slip stitch and just keep doing that the whole way around. Okay, so the last one on that row uh, will be a half double crochet and then we'll be ready for row four. Chain one and turn. And this one's the same as row two. You just start with a slip stitch and then a half double. And keep doing that the whole way around. One thing I forgot to mention was that if you wanted to make your bonnet smaller, like for a preemie or even a doll, you could take out this last row of um, when we were doing the circle. You could just do um, one, two, three. You could just do three rows, three rounds in the circle, so you'd end up with 30 stitches instead of 40. And then you could follow the same pattern and um, have a smaller hat. So, anyway. Okay, so that's row four. Okay, so the end of round four will end with a slip stitch. And now we're gonna do a couple rows of half double crochet, just regular. So chain two and turn. Half double crochet in each slip stitch and half double crochet around. So we'll go ahead and go in the slip stitch right here. Okay, so I half double crocheted in each stitch 
My last one was in that slip stitch that was at the end of the row. So now we're going to do that again. Chain two and turn. And half double crochet in each stitch. Okay, so at the end of that row, um, you will have 40 half double crochets, and this chain two um, counts as a stitch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back through and repeat all the, those um, six rows. So the four decorative stitch rows, and then the two half double crochet rows. We're just going to do that all again. So. Um, so you can just go back and uh, you'll chain one and half double and then slip stitch and you'll just um, follow the pattern and then the next row you will slip stitch in the half doubles and half double in the slip stitch stitches, etc. And just repeat all those rows. And then I will meet you back and show you what to do next. Okay, so I, we have repeated the, the four decorative stitch rows and then the two half double crochet rows. And now we're moving on to the brim section. So all we're going to do for the brim on the newborn size is chain one and turn. And we're just doing one decorative stitch row. So half double crochet, slip stitch, half double and slip stitch the whole way across. Okay, so we did our one row of the brim for the newborn size. Now we're going to chain one and turn. And the next two rows, we're going to incorporate the ties. So this will just start off um, just as usual uh, with the decorative stitch row. So we're starting with the slip stitch and then the half double. Slip and half double and repeat that the whole way across. And then at the end of this row, we're not going to turn, we're going to chain out to do the tie. So I'll show you how to do that once we get to the end of this row. Okay, so we've reached the end of that row. And now all we're going to do is chain 35. So I've chained 35, and now if you're making a smaller size, like you want to make a dollar preemie sized, of course you could do fewer chains. Um, either way, you can chain whatever number you want here. I chose 35. Um, it's about 10 inches, and that is um, it's a little shorter than that. It's 8 inches. Um, so and now we're going to half double crochet back. So can be a little wiggly but um, so we'll start off with half double crocheting in the third chain from the hook right there and just uh, take your time this is a little fiddly because you're just holding on to the chain and um, you don't want anything to get twisted or it is a little harder to hold on to and, and make these nice and even, but it looks really nice um, if they're all even and there's no twists. But just do your best and take your time. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm coming to back to the hat, and I just wanted to show you um, these stitches in here can kind of start to twist. So just kind of turn it and continue to work in the same back chain stitch that you have been this whole way. So just watch, just watch for that. So I'm still working in the back chain just to be consistent. Okay, so that was the last chain, and now we're going to work across the brim again in our same decorative stitch pattern. So we had ended with a slip stitch right there, so we're going to do a half double, and then a slip, and then keep going the whole way across. And when we get to the other end, we will chain out for the other tie. Okay, so I have um, worked the decorative stitch all the way across again. And now I'm at the other front corner and just going to chain out 35. And then once you get out to 35, you'll do the same thing. Half double crochet in the third chain from the hook and work your way the whole way back and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I chained out and then half double crocheted all the way back and just wanted to show you how to finish this off. So, um, just one thing to take a look at um, is your back edge. If your back edge back here is pretty um, even and smooth and you like it the way it is, um, you can be done. Or um, if you would like to give it a little finishing edge, we can do a single crochet. So what I would do, move this so you can see. Okay, so here was our last half double into the last chain. So I'm kind of looking at it this way. So this tie is kind of going straight out. So I want this one to do the same thing. So I am going to kind of, um, so I'm not going to go in here, I'm going to go more up here so it will lay flat. I'm single crocheting. And then we we'll just keep on with single crochets evenly up the side. So it's just sort of up to your discretion where you insert your hook. Um, just don't make them too close together or it will bunch up and if it's too far apart um, that will look kind of wonky too so just take your time and keep them as even as you can um, that's kind of why I like this super wash merino yarn it um, it tends to be more forgiving on things like this it doesn't show it has nice stitch definition, but when you're doing something like this, the, um, the squishiness, it kind of tends to fluff after you, your stitches, and so it, it kind of tends to hide a lot of imperfections. But. So. Okay, so. So, the, so yeah, just something to think about if yours is looking uneven or you don't have, like how it looks. Um, might not be you, like different types of yarns I have found um, do this better. So just maybe experiment with different yarns and find which ones you like. Okay, so when we get into this little corner here, sometimes I like to skip the middle right there because so it doesn't bunch out. I do kind of like how it's like a little V. So we kind of skip the middle one there and then keep going. But it's up to you, whatever. Um, see, that's pulling. There's a little hole there. So I'm going to go back and kind of going to grab an, like another layer of yarn there. Anyway. This just takes practice. Um, hmm. Well, 
that's no good. <laughs> Let's cover it up. Just stop every once in a while and take a look, make sure it's you know kind of laying flat. Yeah, this okay. Okay, so when you get back to the other tie. I would just do a slip stitch here so we don't have like a little drop off. So slip stitch the last one. And cut your yarn, weave in your loose ends, and you are all done. You can go and give this to a new mama who's having a baby. <laughs> or for your own baby. Thanks for joining me.